Today's news, the wife of a Minnesota Twins pitcher has him hooked on a new diet. I'll let you guess what it is. Veganism to fight childhood obesity and adventures as a vegan firefighter. Also, today's recipe and your voicemails. This is the Vegan News. Welcome to the Vegan News, the show where we treat veganism as if it were normal. I'm Adam Kahanowitz. Now, I typically don't like to report on celebrities, especially the celebrities who are kind of doing the pseudo-embrace of veganism. If you know my feelings on Oprah, you know what I mean. However, I do have a sweet tooth for athletes who take the dietary component of veganism and hold it to a high standard. In yet another effort to debunk the myth that vegan diets are poor for building strength and endurance, the Star Tribune reports on Minnesota Twins pitcher Pat Neshek's vegan diet. Neshek cites two sources for his transition. Number one, his wife, who was stunned to see the pitcher eating McDonald's and cheap fast food meals. And number two, the book The China Study, which has led many to the healthy benefits of a vegan diet, as well as uncovering the disgusting truth behind the standard American diet so many are led into believing is normal. Well, it's happy to see the Twins pitcher publicly endorsing the dietary side of veganism, and here's hoping this will lead to a vegan lifestyle and an understanding of the ethical core of living non-violently as a person and a consumer. Well, you don't have to be someone like Pat Neshek to throw the first pitch out to promoting veganism. You can make the transition yourself, and yes, you can even do it for your child. It's very healthy. As the naturalnews.com reports, veganism is very helpful in fighting such endemics as juvenile diabetes and childhood obesity. Um, I like the summary of information in the article on the absence of certain growth hormones and other yucky stuff found in animal products. But it's difficult to judge these uber-correct articles as they sometimes examine the nutritional needs of any diet so intensely that make veganism appear like a diet requiring a full-time job of preparation. Now, any diet needs adequate meal preparation and nutrition label reading through the transition. However, vegan diets simply just don't have some of the most toxic elements many individuals are getting in their foods. I also wasn't surprised, but still disappointed, to see no mentioning of the ethical core of veganism. Probably another author afraid of scaring away people. Whatever. Check out the link for this and this article and others mentioned on the show today at vegan.fm slash news. And still proving you can't be too macho for veganism is Rip Esselstyn, the firefighter who himself and his squad all went vegan. He chronicles adventures, uh, adventures but he went vegan and his squad. He chronicles this in his book, The Engine 2 Diet. Um, each of his colleagues noticed a dramatic change in their blood pressure and gained positively from the experience. Some vegans, like yours truly, are unhappy that Mr. Esselstyn is seldom using the word vegan at all. Instead, he's calling the diet, well, the Engine 2 Diet. We'd like to politely remind the firefighter he's about 60 years late in naming the diet and centuries late for inventing it. But thanks for the promo anyway. Well, if you haven't heard me complain enough, perhaps you'd like to call in and complain yourself. Each show, we take voicemails that we like. You can call in to rant, complain, inform, or praise. No, doesn't happen very often. And if we like what you have to say, we'll put it on the show. You can call us at 402-253-0401. But before we go, I'd like to look at today's recipe. And I have selected mm, French toast sticks. Yes, you can make French toast vegan, no eggs or milk. And they're delicious. I won't go through the recipe right now, but you can find that at vegan.fm slash me along with today's episode notes. Well, that's it for today. If you'd like to subscribe to us, you can find us on iTunes or to subscribe to us on RSS. You can also just watch the show at vegan.fm slash news. If you'd like to call in, you can call at 402-253-0401 and leave a message. If you have a recipe you'd like to put on the show, you can contact us at recipes at vegpage.com. I'm Adam Kahanowitz, and thanks for watching.